If you're thinking about extending your lease, it's advisable to first understand how much it is likely to cost, which can include the premium for the lease extension, your valuation and legal fees, and the freeholder's valuation and legal costs, if applicable. Calculating these figures will enable you to prepare financially in advance before starting the process. Once you're ready to proceed, there are two ways to obtain a lease extension, the formal statutory process and the informal voluntary process. Leaseholders who have owned their property for at least two years and who hold a long lease with an original term of at least 21 years have a legal right to extend their lease by 90 years with a peppercorn ground rent for the remainder of their lease. This is provided by the statutory process set out by the Leasehold Reform, Housing and Urban Development Act 1993. It's advisable to employ a qualified legal representative in order to complete this process to ensure that notices are served correctly and that all of the legal requirements are satisfied. To get started, the leaseholder or their legal representative must serve a Section 42 notice on the freeholder. At this point, the leaseholder will immediately become liable for the freeholder's professional costs. On receipt of the notice, the freeholder will likely advise their legal representative to assess the validity of the notice and may request further evidence from the leaseholder in regards to their entitlement within 21 days of the date of the initial notice. However, if the notice is valid, the freeholder has two months to employ a chartered surveyor in order to value the lease extension and to issue a counter notice to the leaseholder. The counter notice can either admit your right to the claim and accept your terms or propose new terms. Not admit your right to the claim, in which the matter would need to be referred to the first tier tribunal or claim that the freeholder has the right to develop and therefore cannot grant a lease extension. However, this is a rarity and will need to be proven before a court. If the claim is admitted, but new terms proposed by the freeholder, negotiations can proceed for a period of between two and six months. If the terms have not been agreed after two months, the case can be referred to the first tier tribunal by either party for an independent determination of the terms. If both parties are able to reach an agreement during the negotiation stages, they would need to instruct their legal representatives to proceed with the lease extension based on the terms agreed. The premium payable to extend the lease must be paid in full in order to complete the process and this is also when the leaseholder will be required to settle any outstanding legal and valuation costs. The informal route is typically much faster and cheaper than the statutory option as leaseholders are not required to meet eligibility criteria, they won't have to adhere to strict time schedules or incur extra expenses for issuing notices, negotiation assistance and additional valuations. Instead, the informal process enables leaseholders to approach their freeholder directly in order to negotiate a lease extension, which can often result in more favourable terms. For example, a freeholder may offer a more reasonable premium in return for an annual ground rent which the leaseholder may prefer. Though similar to statutory requirements, leaseholders will be responsible for the freeholder's valuation and legal costs, and the freeholder may require upfront payment of the valuation fee in order to assess the premium payable. If both parties are able to reach a satisfactory agreement, they would instruct their legal representatives to proceed with the lease extension. But if an agreement cannot be reached, leaseholders will always have the option to revert to the statutory process. So in our opinion, it is always advisable to consider approaching the freeholder directly in the first instance, as there is more scope for flexibility on the terms for a new lease. And if negotiations are successful, extending the lease could not only be cheaper, but quicker as well. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel. And if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.